I'm actually married already. Wow. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Mushoku Tensei episode 23 of season 2 called Let's Go Home. If you like the video, smash the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. Oh, damn. So, this is like the old Rudas. Were my parents worried about me back then? How did they feel about me on the verge of death? Oh, so they must have passed away before... Like, he did. Wow. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have I at least seen their dead faces? Oh man, did you see the stump? Not a fake like me. Didn't they mean the world to you? You really are a son, son I can count on. Yeah, I like. It was... Like, my whole thing is, like, how is he gonna get over this one? You know? Because we know Rudy goes into, like, these types of ruts. And it's like hard for him to come out of. But maybe this time with having like Roxy, with having his child. Oh, there she is as well. But I mean, he doesn't even have a hand anymore. For a change of mood. And he's still wearing, like, the bloody clothes. Like, he went straight to that room and hasn't even left. And Zenith, like... What happened to her? Because, like I said, she was... Sounded like she couldn't even speak. I wish you wouldn't lie. Oh... Wow. Man, I thought I was getting... Uh, I'm still the same as ever. Obviously, referring to his previous life, you know. You all taught me how warm family could be. Bro, he looks like Paul when Rudy first found him at that bar. Like that same type of despair in the face. Oh my gosh, that stump looks absolutely disgusting. Just leave everything to me. Wow. Like, the one, I guess the one difference between when he went through the thing with Eris is that he didn't have anybody else, right? And she's basically what she's doing is like carrying that weight with him, you know. Do you feel a little better? <laughs> bro, change your clothes, brother. Like, you got that old blood on there. Do you mind if I ask you a weird question? You'll just have to treasure the family you have right in front of you. You know, because, I mean, look, he does have a child on the way. 
I wonder if his child will be born when he gets back. Because, I mean, it should be like around nine months. Oh, wow. <laughs> I need to discuss something with Ellen and Elise. But, like, maybe there will be more answers with Zenith, you know? Or maybe she's just become a vegetable. Which is like, would be kind of a weird situation, wouldn't it? Like, all that trouble, and then she was basically like, dead anyways. She doesn't seem to remember anything. But has she spoken yet? Oh, she just lost her memory. The magical impairment. Permit me to say something a little impolite. Do your own duty. Obviously, raise the family and stuff. Let's go home to our family. Oh, so they're gonna jump straight back. So, yeah, like, that's probably the regret, right? That's probably, like, Paul's death is the regret. And maybe even the thing with Roxy, like... But, you know, Sylphie is, like, a person who is, like, very open to anything when it comes to Rudy. But, wow, like... What an interesting season. I know this is probably like the second last episode, but a very interesting season. Like we really saw Rudy become someone else. Damn. Because that's like how he sets up a tent with the like, just with the earth itself. It's pretty cool. And what's going to happen with them too? And I don't know. We'll see what happens. I love Roxy. Damn. But I couldn't say which one I love more. It's a bit too late for that. I'm actually married already. Wow. That's when he tells her. I know. Damn, so she already knew. Crazy. Shouldn't blame yourself. Wow. I'll only be your left hand while we make this journey. Damn. That's like kind of sad. Well, I feel bad for Roxy in a in a sense. Would you listen to my excuse? I fell in love at first sight. Wow, with you, Rudy. Oh yeah, we saw all of that. But she's not here now, is she? Bro, you get some chicks out there who are like that, dude. <laughs> you know... They'll tell you a good story and you'll be like, oh, what? This makes so much, like, sense. So I thought I'd just have to do it. Man, this piano is brilliant. Dun -dun. It almost sounds like... The um the One Piece 
OST no more of that. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's snowing where they left. But, like, that's the whole thing. Oh, the blindfolds. In a forest near Sharia. Oh, maybe that's why the blindfolds were on. So you can protect Ma Nana Hoshi. I wonder if he's actually going to get to his place before the end of this episode. Oh. Followers of Millis are only allowed to take one wife. Damn, she's even mentioning it now. But that's the thing, like, is he gonna marry both of them? I mean, well, he's obviously married to Sophie, but... Marry Roxy. Crazy. I can't stand to see Roxy like this. Did I not say I'm, like, I actually feel sorry for her? But I mean, I guess it all depends on what Sulfi says. <laughs> to make them both happy if I could. But also, like, after all the times I've called Paul has come back. <laughs> that, the other thing is kind of like... Yeah. Anyways, I'll t say that afterwards. But yeah, this is true. Like, in this time, in this place where they live, it's like, it's okay, I guess. Like, if it's done correctly, but I, he's like kind of overlaying it with like normal life where we live. The only crazy thing is if, like, Eris appears, that will be like, and then, it, like, she wants to marry him or something. Think less of me for coming back with a lover. Ask Roxy now. Damn. Sophie Gray, uh, Sophie Ed Gray, right? But didn't she teach her once upon a time? Will you marry me? Imagine he just says it. <laughs> Being a scumbag beats looking back and wishing I'd done more. Wow. Roxy Grey Rat. I love you. She's like, wait, are you asking me to marry you? <laughs> but don't you need to ask your wife's approval? But he's like, I'm just trying to find out by you first. Damn, this guy's life. We're the same. Because of Paul. Damn, I mean... Yeah, it's like, obviously, you know, just really, Rudy, I mean dealing with the death of Paul but you know my whole thing was is it gonna be the same like with Eris you know where he just goes into like that depression and you know he's just lying there for days and the, even the thing that Roxy said she was like I'll be your left hand for this like for the rest of this journey because obviously you know he's got the stump but wow and actually like 
shared that weight with him and you know he kind of immediately snapped back and that's obviously i mean he obviously loved her before that but you know that kind of showed him that support that he needed was there and obviously you can have many different opinions about it you know people might look at him and be like ah oh, he's a scumbag like he's already got a wife he's got a kid he was just supposed to go save his mom and come back i mean you can definitely look at it that way and then there's also like the other side where it's like are we just looking at it from the lens of what we know in our society like you know in our society that's not right but then again you actually get certain cultures where you know that's fine so i mean i guess it just depends on the people involved and that's what we'll probably see sylphie doesn't seem like someone who would be opposed to it i i swear that she did mention it before even right when she was like oh i might not be able to have children or something so we should consider getting you like a concubine or something like that so i mean it's not as though it's like she's actually offered that before so it's like i'm sure she'll be okay with it i'm leaning towards that but that's because it's the show and <clears throat> you know i mean good for him you know two wives whatever that's his that's their thing but i mean other than that like yeah we saw with zenith that it's like a magical impairment so maybe that'll recover and she'll get her memories maybe there's other stuff that she's gonna reveal i wonder if in this next episode and the final episode she gets her memories back and she actually drops like some type of big news but we'll have to see but man season two has been been really different like just the way we've seen rudy grow and you know i'm i'm to keep watching i wish like a show like this deserves like eight seasons you know what i mean because they're only just scratching the surface to me but that's going to be it for me if you like the video smash the like button subscribe if you want i'm going to leave the last episode right up over here Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.